Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to the other video. It's going to be going over a fighting style that I know. Now, I literally started practicing only once, and I learned the fighting style very easily. It is called Aikido or Aikido. It's spelled A I K I D O. It is a Japanese fighting style. It's not the only Japanese fighting style I know, but it's the one I prefer out of Japanese fighting styles. It's where you take a staff. Now this isn't staff, it's more of a long stick, but you can, it works just the same. It's like a fighting style that involves defeating your opponent without harming them whatsoever. Like, now I know a bow staff is not the weapon, it's a weapon, but basically what you try to do, you try to knock out your opponent without, without injuring them. Now... Even though I literally have started practicing months ago, like, first time I tried it, I found out that I was very good at it. Now, the character Morgan in the show uses it as his way of defeating his opponents without killing them. Since he learns that there's a way to defeat your opponent without harming them. So, you know. So, it's a fighting style. It is used in a religion, but I have my own religious beliefs, so, you know, I don't use the fighting style as a part of a religion. I use, I mean, I don't, I practice, I hope that I never actually have to use the fighting style. I mean, I know it's without injuring your opponent, but you never know. No, it, people are going to say it's like karate and kung fu, and it isn't actually, it's actually a very different fighting style compared to kung fu and karate. Especially since... You know, in Kung Fu, they mainly use different weapons. Aikido only uses a bow staff as your weapon. And it's not, it's technically not a weapon in the fighting style or religion, whatever you want to call it. Now, you get a stick. This I didn't actually have to make. I find a storage closet. Figured it would work best for when I practice. If you guys want to see me do like a video of me practicing on some stuff, I will do so. Now the thing is, you don't need to swing very hard, since you no know, humans, we all feel pain. The, the end thing is, you aren't supposed to swing very hard either. Now I know this isn't that tall, but technically this is tall enough for me because I can easily maneuver the pole, or stick, whatever you want to call it. Plus, you know, the, if you guys have watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know that the character Donatello also uses both of that. Now, you do that. So, I'd say that if I had to pick a weapon that had to involve, like, Japanese fighting style, it would be this. Now, I know how to fight with a lot of Japanese weapons, but my preference would be this, since, you know, the bow staff is probably the most maneuverable Japanese weapon. Ow, I'm itchy on my foot. But yeah, anyway. So, this is about, let's see, shorter than me, so it's not five foot nine and a half, which is how tall I am. It's about, I want to say about four foot, maybe, maybe four feet. I know I, my brother is over four feet, so if it's almost as tall, I'm going to guess about four feet. It's definitely taller than three feet, though. I know that for a fact. So, if I were to be a ninja or a Japanese fighter, this would be my weapon, the bow staff. Since you can win without harming your opponent. Especially since Aikido is... It's a fighting style that doesn't require a whole lot of strength, especially since like, you're using it as a bow staff and they don't weigh a whole lot. Maybe it could kill a zombie, it could cause a lot of head trauma depending on how hard you swing. Now in the walkie there we see Morgan stabbing walkers with it, that's not how it works, the end would need to be sharp. And even a sharpened stick is not a very effective weapon against killing zombies, unless you, you know, go for the eye. But you can jab with... The stick, that's what they do in Aikido to try and like knock your opponent off balance and be like, kind of 
kind of like if you're using a spare. And you see, I am very good at it. I will. I don't have a very good camera, unfortunately. So if you guys won't be able to get like full body shots of me swinging it. But hopefully, you know, I can make a video on me testing this and something. You guys want to see me Aikido the living crud out of an object pig. Definitely not a human though, since that is illegal. Ow, I just jabbed my foot. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I gotta be careful. Now, a bow step I just showed you is, is, is like nunchuck, so you can easily injure yourself as you can your opponent. That time I didn't jab my foot, but holy cow, that hurt. So, anyway, yeah, Japanese, it's a Japanese fighting style. Well, actually, it's part of a Japanese religion, actually, but I don't do that for the religion. I am a Lutheran. I thought I was Baptist because my parents told me that I've always been. That I was baptized since I was quite young. I found out that a lot of religions do baptism though. Like I think Christianity. Oh gosh, my foot. Holy cow, that hurt. But yeah, if you guys want to see me use this against like fruit or something, let me know. I wonder how much damage this could actually do to like a soda bottle. I mean, it would probably just knock it off. I know what to use for a defense weapon. I get someone to break in. Now, there is certain forms you can go through, but it's very easy weapon to learn how to use. Now, I can't really show you how long I have to back up. I think you guys can see that. See, that's what I mean by it's so maneuverable, because I can go and do that easily. Here, I'll show you guys me spinning it. That's why this is a definitely a cool weapon. Because you can maneuver it any way you want. You can jab, do that. And it's a very easy weapon to learn how to use, too. Probably not the best for killing zombies, though. Unless you get a good swing and you manage to twist their head around, like, you know, snap their neck, kind of. If you can do that, you definitely... May not kill the zombie, but you've at least injured it so it cannot maneuver anymore. The only thing you do is like bite. And then you can take it out with your knife or you can you can brain it, as they say in a lot of movies. So if I definitely if a zombie pucks definitely would happen, I would definitely take this as a weapon. Maybe not against zombies. It I don't know. It depends. But definitely against like other humans so I don't have to oh tsh. So I don't have to like, you know, hurt them in any way. I can easily just... Here's how I would hold it like that. Or hold it like that. You guys can't see it, but I'm holding it kind of like... Under my forearm. And it... You guys can see that? You can hold it like that. I'm a little bit out of breath because I was practicing a little bit ago. But this is definitely fun. Aikido is definitely fun to learn. If you guys want to watch any, you guys can look up. I think it's spelled it. It's A I C I D O. You can look look that up on YouTube and stuff and learn. Now I used to practice with a mop handle. Now I have this. Mop handle works the same. Just this has more weight to it. So it since it has more weight, it will definitely do more damage than a mop handle. Especially since this is thick wood. This will not bend or break on you no matter what you put it through it will not break since this was designed for you know being a weapon well I mean this isn't actually a bow staff I don't know what it is but I call it a bow staff it's not really being used it's so cool that I actually know a Japanese fighting style I mean I know a couple but Aikido is definitely one I, li I like the learning I was actually going to see if I could take any classes on it because it's a fun fighting style to learn. In fact, I could even teach people how to do it too. I told my ex to look it up to see if she wanted to try it. Now, I'd say I'm probably best with the bow staff out of all Japanese weapons. I mean, 
I'm good with nunchucks as well, but you know what? Bow staff is definitely worth that. Since you can win without injuring your opponent. Now, I'm honestly not going to test that on another human being. This. Now, there is Aikido without the bow staff, but if you really want to. You know, and the thing is, I could have an Aikido staff as like a walking stick, since that's not illegal. Like, instead of carrying like a concealed carry gun on me, when I'm older, I could carry a bow staff and be like. You know, because it's not illegal to carry one, as far as I know. No, not here in the state of Wisconsin. That if I, I believe that if, you're, if you can carry a concealed carry gun or an open carry, you can definitely carry a bow staff on you without much trouble. And the thing is, since I have this, I can easily turn it into a spear, but I'm not going to. It's very thick wood. Won't break, no matter what you put through. Unless you somehow... I mean, it will break depending on what pressure you put through. But if you're going to be using it, like, the smart way you should, you should, if you're not going to be running over, it definitely should not break in. At least this one won't. It's not like a stake you found in the woods. That'll break. This, however, no matter what you put it through, if, obviously, when I say that, I mean, like, if you're practicing with it the smart way, not hitting, like, metal stuff with it, it definitely should not break on you. I'm not sure you guys some other moves that I know with Aikido. You guys can only see like my hand moves. <laughs> the reason why I like the bus stuff is because of how easy and maneuverable it is. And how easy you can learn how to use it too. Like it's, once you see, once you visually learn how to use a bow staff, it'll stick in your mind for decades. I, l I learned Aikido at the age of 14, no, I think it was the age of 15 actually, or I learned last summer and I've been practicing ever since, so almost a year. That's actually a record. Wow. Now I might take this to my friends and prep, show them how to use it. Now, Thing is though, if I'm gonna bring my pants off, I'm gonna be safe with it. Not gonna be swinging at anybody. Only swing at someone if you absolutely need to. It's still, it's more of a defense. What thing? That's what Aikido is trying to teach people: is defense and redirecting the person trying to attack them. It's not all. It's not all about taking your opponent out. It's about redirecting them. And you redirect them without bringing any pain. So, if I want to, when I'm older, I could teach people this since I know it and very well. You see, once you learn something and you become very good at it, you could eventually teach that too. Like, I'm going to teach my kids how to shoot when when I get older. And they, hopefully I have kids. I plan on it. But anyway, ow, ow, gosh darn it. That's the second time. I really got to be careful. Okay. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all, and goodbye.